Hey bug farmers, welcome to Bug Farmer Beekeeping, where we dive into the world of apiculture, beekeeping, and bees every week. This is the place to share laughs, explore bees, and learn together, all without taking ourselves too seriously. To join our buzzing community, it's easy and it's free. Just hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's cultivate beekeeping knowledge and fun together. Now, let's get into the bees. Hi, and welcome back to the channel today. Well, today it's a beautiful day in Georgia, as it was yesterday. It was also a beautiful day in Georgia. And when I got off of work, I decided to come down here and look at the bees as I always do. And then I saw a swallowtail butterfly in the peach tree, so I walked down to get a couple of pictures of it for Instagram. And then I decided to look at the nectarine tree to see how it was doing beautiful blooms. It was all doing great. And then I wanted to check out the plum tree and see how the plum tree was doing. The blooms have faded, but I wanted to see how many little plums I had on that tree. And to my surprise, I found a swarm sticking right on the trunk of it. So I gathered the swarm up and I moved the swarm back to the little green nuke. So now we have a swarm of bees in the little green nuke, which will move into my wife's green TXT hive because she lost that hive over the winter. Um, but today, the goal is to go through the bee barns and look for queen cells. Now, if I see one, I'm gonna pull the queen cell out and some bees, I'm gonna shake them into one of the boxes that I've got on the back bench back there. I've got a bunch of empties ready to have some colonies. So I wanna prevent any more swarms from happening out of these bee barns. Now, before we begin this video, I wanna take a moment to thank uh, the folks at Hive Alive. They did see my, my video where I did the Demaray splits and I had the pollen patties that weren't quite right. And they have reached out to me on pretty much every platform that I'm on wanting to make it right. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Now I was able to use those pollen patties after I added a little bit of moisture to them and the bees have since devoured them. They do like them and it does look like it has helped my brood to, uh, to improve in, in quantity and I'm hoping quality as well. But the, uh, the bees were able to consume those pollen patties but that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is, is Hive Alive standing behind their product. So I want to say thank you to the folks at Hive Alive and Linda for sending me the email. I really, really appreciate that. Um, it means a lot that you would step up and take care of a customer and uh, I will be using your product in the future. Now that all of that's taken care of, what I'm going to do is light my smoker, get my, my gear on, and we're going to start going through bee barns and we're going to look for queen cells. I tell you what, if I find a queen cell, we're going to do a split. So let me get my gear on, my smoker lit, and we'll get started. All right, well, this red hive is extremely busy, and to be honest, this is my number one suspect. I kind of believe that this is the hive that, that may have swarmed. Let's, uh, let's give them some smoke, get in there. We're going to look for a queen, but we're also going to look for a queen cell now. When we go through here, if we find a queen that is not painted, she is going to get painted green because I came through here a couple of weeks ago and painted all of my queens red. They were the queens from last year. So any new queens there, they're gonna be green queens from this year. And that means I may have missed a swarm or two. All right, hello, ladies. Hello. All right, oh, this, this hot pillow is soaking wet. I mean, it is, it is soaking wet. Let's, uh, let's give these girls some smoke down through the top here. All right, here it goes. Hello, ladies. Oh, that is a lot of bees on the bottom there. Make sure I do not see a queen on there. All right, ladies. What do we have here? Now again, I see some drone cells. We are looking for queen cells. There's a lot of drone cells right there. A lot of them right there. I do not see any queen cells, nor do I see a queen on this side. I'll let you have a look. All right, let's flip it over. What do we have? There's our queen right there, and she is not marked. Okay, so this hive must have swarmed already. Son of a gun. Let's mark that queen. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Let me give you a little, uh, little cage there. Okay. There we are. There we are. You're green. I'm going to dry, let you dry for a little bit. There we go. Nope, nope, nope. You got to get in the, got to get in the cage, young lady. 
Okay, we got the queen right there. Let her sit there and dry. Now we're going to go through the rest of this hive and make sure that we do not have any more queen cells in here. Okay. Okay, there's a full frame of brood on this side. And I see nectar. They're back filling it with nectar. Let's look at the other side here. Same thing happening there. There we go. What do we have here? Okay, we have all brood down on the bottom. And they're starting to put nectar up in the top. No queen cells. Same on that side. Beautiful. I'm expecting to see a chewed out queen cell somewhere. But you know what? We'll, we'll put the queen back after we've looked at everything, just in case there's another queen cell in here. We can, uh, we can still do a split in this hive. Okay, there's some cattywampus comb. They can keep it though. No queen cell on that side. No queen cell on that side. We'll set you right over here. There you go. All right, what do we have here? We have another full frame of brood. It is time for me to give these girls a super. I didn't bring any out with me, but I tell you what I will do. After I'm done filming the video, I will go grab them some supers. That is good. More worker brood here. I'm not seeing a queen cell. That is fantastic. All right, drop you right back down in there. There we go. There we go. That's a nice heavy frame there. A lot of nectar on it. Okay, that is a full for there is a chewed out queen cell right there. Oops. Alright, two more frames. We'll put these girls away. That is an empty frame. Here we go. Let's have a look. Okay. We have nothing happening there. Full frame of comb. Full frame of comb. Let's see if I see any eggs. I do not. We're going to put this away, then we're going to put the queen away and move on to the next hive. All right, let's let our queen go. There you go. She's right back down on the hive with her nice green paint job. Life is good for you. All right, so here's the situation. I do not believe for a second that this hive swarmed. I don't think this is not one of my candidate hives. The candidate hives are the red one, which it quite possibly may be because we have a new queen over there. Um, or the purple one. I know it wasn't Crynock because, again, Crynock, I moved those girls out over to the farm. Um, however, let's talk about what we did at the farm. We did the Demari, the Demaray splits, made by George Demari or George Demaray, somebody said in the comments. So it's not Tiberius, and it's certainly not John, it's, it's George that made the uh, Demaray swarm control method. That's something else I was corrected on in the comments. Anyways, I did put the queen down here in an empty bee barn box with nothing but empty frames. They were drawn out, but there were no bees, no, no anything happening down here. They lived the winter up in these top two boxes. Now, because there's a queen excluder right here, and the queen was down here, any brood that was in this box or eggs may have been turned into queen cells that I had not seen because I haven't been in this hive in a few weeks since I moved the queen down there. And if that's the case, it is entirely possible that they made a virgin queen in this box. And if they did that, and that queen started hatching and then piping and then, then putting off pheromone, it may have chased this queen with her bees off onto the plum tree. So that may be where the swarm came from. So we have to go into this hive to have a look. Oh, okay, I don't even have a inner cover on top of this hive. That's, a, that's a, usually a bad mistake. All right, all right, really, really fast. This should not take long because this box should be empty. Nothing happening there. Uh, nothing happening. And they're using this as a super already. Nothing happening there. We'll go down a box. Let's we'll make quick work of this hive. Won't take long. There we go. I should probably take that super and put it on the red hive. I'm glad you thought of that. I'm gonna move that super to the red hive. That's a that's a plan. We now have a plan. Let's uh, let's see what we have going on in here. All right. 
We have nothing going on there. We can deal with that. We have a little bit of capped brood left on this one, but not a lot. Okay, do you see a virgin queen running around there? I do not. Okay, we are bringing in nectar right there. It's looking to me like a lot of my bees have moved downstairs, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. A lot of nectar being stored there. A lot of nectar being stored there. I cannot believe this. It is March. March something, 12th or 13th. The farm is crazy. They've got uh, three or four frames each of, uh, of nectar. And I cannot wait to taste it because it's going to be awesome. All right, what do we have here? Oh, that is a full frame of nectar on this side. I'm going to try to try to let that glisten in the sun a little bit. I'll try to go slower so maybe you can see it. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll catch a glint. You'll be able to see it there. Wow. They're bringing in the goods. Let's get this last frame out. And then we know that we do not have a queen cell or a virgin queen in this top box because I don't even see any evidence of a chewed out queen cell. Storing more nectar. That's capped from last year. Okay. Just put our eyeballs on the queen. We're here. She's here. Let's have a look at that box. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Oh, there are a lot of bees down here. All right, what do we have? All right, a lot of bees. Nothing on this side. Don't see the queen. So I'm going to expect that I'm going to see her on this side. Oh, there she is. Oh, she is not painted. Okay, well, she's going to get the old green marker because I don't know at this point whether she's new or old. So she's getting the, the title of new. There she is right there. There you go. All right, let's put you in a cage so you can dry off. There you go, Greenie. There you go. There she is. All right, you can sit right there. You dry off. All right, here you go. There she goes. She's back down on the hive. So this is for you. Now I think it's possible that Juno may have may have swarmed. Holy moly, this pillow is wet as well. This is coming out, it's not going back in. Don't sting me. Now, if you're new to this channel, now you're gonna notice the top box that I have is a little bit different than what most beekeepers have on their hives. Actually, a bit different than all beekeepers have on their hives. I have a control box that actually has a controller for heat and a controller for a fan to exhaust the hives in the summer. Now here in Georgia it gets hot, hot, hot and the humidity is terrible. So when the hive temperature gets up above 95 degrees, I think I've got it set for 95 degrees. At 95 degrees I've got two exhaust fans that I turn on on low and they evacuate the hive and they just create a nice breeze through there to help them uh, dehydrate their honey uh, as well as keep the bees you know comfortable I mean if I was a bee I'd want to be comfortable about 95 degrees I think their upper limits 114 maybe uh, so 95 degrees seems about right now in the winter time now this year I did not heat the beehives but last year and every year prior I have heated the beehives and I have the ability to heat these bee barns as well as non bee barn hives uh, using reptile heating lamps and a controller in the winter time i usually set the hives at about 72 degrees uh, that gives the bees everything they need to move around but they don't consume a lot of food they just kind of hang out and wait for wait for uh, summer to show up hello ladies do you have a new queen do you have a chewed out queen cell do you have a non chewed out queen cell okay what do we have there Okay, that is not a lot going on. Oh, I see a hive beetle. We're going to get it. Got it? That hive beetle is going to have a one-way trip to the freezer. All right. 
nothing happening there. No eggs there. A little bit of honey. We'll set that aside. Oh, another hive beetle out here. We'll give it the old phalange. There you go, it's toast. Those need a little bit more smoke. I've got some some guards on me. And Juno was a little bit feisty. I think she's uh she's mated with one of the uh, Crynoc drones last year. Some of her bees are bullies. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, this is a very heavy frame. Holy moly. Okay. So we have a ton of brood, drone brood, nectar and honey, a lot of bee bread. This is a huge resource frame for them. I do not see the queen on here, nor do I think that I would. Let's, uh, let's check the other side. I don't think she's going to be on this frame at all. She's been here a while ago. This, this brood is all old. Okay, if you see her, feel free to shout her out, but I don't think she's going to be on this frame. That's just me. Hello, ladies. It's a lesson I'm trying to teach my wife, and, and I guess it's with all new beekeepers. Going slow is fast. You don't, uh, you don't want to go fast unless the bees are on you, and then you want to get out. But other than that, you go slow and steady, and if you're calm, the bees are usually calm. Holy moly, over 90 degrees in here. I can see why. Look at all these bees. Holy moly. That is a lot. Of, ouch. Something the green light triggers the stingometer. I don't see a queen cell on here. Let's see if we see a queen. Have a look. We have brood on the bottom. Milk brood right there and there. A little bit of bee bread up here. Capped honey on the corners. This is a perfect frame. I am your friend. All right, what do we have here? All right, we have a ton of brood. I do not see a swarm cell, that's good. I also do not see a queen. Okay, remember, we are looking for a queen, a queen cell, or a virgin queen. If you see any of those things, holler it out. Don't be shy, just put it in the comments. All right. because I don't always find her, and sometimes it's very helpful when y'all call her out, because then I can go back and look at the video and then I'll see her. All right, let me, I'm, I'm gonna take a look at this one. I don't, I don't see the queen or a virgin or a queen cell. Okay, now we may not find a queen in here at all. Maybe we have a queen that's out on a mating flight right now. That's, that's a possibility. I mean, I don't know, there's probably a scientific paper somewhere that says what time of day the queens will go on a mating flight well it's about four o'clock in the afternoon 4 30 right now so i don't know that they're going to go out this time of day it's possible all right i do not see a queen or a virgin queen on that frame nor do i see a queen cell what do we have here we have a lot of bee bread, we have a lot of drone cells, and we have a lot of worker cells. I do not see the queen, a virgin queen, or a queen cell. I was fortunate over at the farm last week, Crynoc was actually able to pick out some virgin queens for me in the Enigma hive. She has a, she has a, she has a queen now, and uh, hive number six has a queen. Oh, and there's our, no, that's not our queen, never mind, no, false alarm, not a queen, that was a drone, a big fat drone, I saw that big butt, and I said, hey, wait a second, we may have a, we may have a queen, we don't have a queen, there's no queen there, I don't want to say this hive is queenless, I don't see any eggs though, I've seen a lot of milk brood, 
Oh, wait a second. No, still no eggs. All right, let's look at the other side. Oh, there's our queen. And she's a red queen from last year. She is right. I just saw her. She's, there she goes. She's going to the other side. I'm going to put her back in the box. Right there on that same frame. Ladies, you're going back on the on the hive here. There you go. Good job. Everybody there, A+. Plus. A+. Plus. You're not getting a hive killer tonight. There you go. Now, let's do this. We're coming in, purple bees. So let's have a look. Okay, hive pillow is not that wet in this one, which means they have a smaller population. All right, here we go. Oh, they got a population, all right. So, so far, we have found a queen in every single box. I mean, I don't know what that means. I mean, those bees, it's possible they came from somebody else's place. There's a lot of beekeepers around me. Right. Slowly. 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 There we go. This is a resource frame, at least on this back side. It's unlikely that these girls have swarmed yet, but boy, I tell you what, they are ready. Because these frames are full of brood and the hive is full of bees. Okay, keep our eyes peeled for a queen. If we find her, we're going to cage her. We may actually take her out today and swarm them because this hive is packed. Keep your eyes peeled. I mean, this is, uh, this is an important one. I guess we have to keep our ears peeled too for a piping queen. I don't see any queen on that frame. these guards are from the guards that are on me I think they're still from like the green hive I am your friend okay there's a very heavy frame this thing is loaded with brood I mean brood everywhere keep your eyes peeled for a queen I see one popcorn cell there but that would be a uh, that would be a drone do not see the queen on this frame. You're right. Okay, there's a lot of work going on up here. I don't know what's happening up here. A lot going on. They're on the honey. Are they burying a queen? Okay, have a look. See if you can see her. There's a teacup, but it's empty. see a queen on this frame all yeah, right well that's a good thing that whoa I saw some there's some Wrestlemania going on right there in the middle of the frame I don't know who was fighting maybe it was a bee from another hive landed on this frame that was not good this hive is packed with bees it is uh, definitely in we're gonna swarm mode if I don't do something about it I know by looking at it that this is not the hive that swarmed we are either going to have a queen in here or a queen cell. And if we don't, I may swarm them anyways, because they probably have eggs where they can make a queen cell. So, all right, what do we have here? Okay, keep our eyes peeled for the queen so I can cage her. Do not see her. That is a drone brood. That's, that's all drone brood. All right. Look at this, holy moly. Holy moly. I don't know whether she's painted or not. I don't know whether she's a virgin or not. I don't know whether she's not here or not. Any one of those three things could be true. There's no way that this hive swarmed. This hive has got way too many bees in it to have swarmed. Okay. Holy moly. Do you see her? She could be on this frame, actually. This is a this is a frame that, that has not been laid. I 
don't see her on that side. Let's look at the other side. Do you see her? I see some blonde drones and some dark drones. But I do not see the queen. Your Highness, where are you? There she is, right there. There's our queen. Okay, we're gonna, she's not painted. Ah. There she is. She's a beauty. She's now caged. There she is. Okay. Is I'm going to let her go in this hive. I'm, I, I'm, I'm probably making a mistake, but the way I see it is there are no queen cells yet, so I probably have a week before any queen cells arrive. And I probably have a little bit more time after that. But if I can get out here next week and prepare one of those hives back there with not only drawn comb, but a bucket feeder, then I think we can find this queen again and then, uh, and then split her off. Because this hive is packed, I am going to give them a super today because they need one. You know what? Do I have any supers back there? I have a 10 frame. You know, I've got the super from my wife's TXT box. You know what? Well, it doesn't have any honey in it. Try to put you right back on the frame where you were, where you were at. There you go. There you go. You're out. Back in the hive. I'm going to go snag you a super. You go do some snagging here. I'll be right back. Well, instead of a super, I'll just grab one of these deeps and then maybe maybe they'll I mean some of the comb is drawn out so the queen can come up here and lay that is uh, that is a doable thing maybe she'll come up here start laying and I can just move this box with the queen what a plan okay we have a plan we have a plan we have a queen, so now it's, it's got to be the sage hive that swarmed. It's got to be the sage. So here is the situation. We're skipping the Crynoch bees because I know that, that they didn't swarm. That's, that's a brand new queen in there, if she's even back from a mating flight. Um, so we're going to leave that hive alone, let them just do what they do. This has got to be the hive. This is the one. We're either going to see no queen or a virgin queen in here. If we find a queen in here, then that swarm that we found did not come from this apiary. I mean, it could have come from my wife's hive, but that's unlikely. So we know we have bees in here. Hello. Okay. Okay, that is a nice frame of bees. At least on this side. It's a nice frame on that side too. Okay. I think just by looking at this hive, I think, and I may be proven wrong by the time we get to the end of it, but I think that this is the one that swarmed. It's got a lot of brood, but it's light on food, which is what happens when they swarm. They eat, oh, there's our queen. I'm speaking too soon. There she is. Son of a gun. Okay. All right. Okay, there we go. So there you go, there you have it. Life is good. I'm going to let your queen out now. She hasn't been on a mating flight, which I don't think she has. She's awfully skinny. There we go, there we go. Get off the clip.
There she goes. She's back down in the hive. All right. Well, I'm calling it. This is a virgin queen. She was, she, her abdomen's getting a little long, but there's no eggs in here. She is not too big to fly. I think she's been on a mating flight, maybe one, but I think she's got some more to do. Now she's gonna do it with a green racing stripe. But we are queen right in this hive. We are queen right in all the hives. All right, so I have a second before we close out here. If you have a second, we can go through that little green nuke and see if we can find that queen and see if she's painted, i.e. did she come from this yard? And uh, if she's not, we'll paint her and kind of see what she looks like. All right, let's, uh, let's give these girls a little look. Now, I don't expect a lot to be going on in here. I just caught them yesterday. I hope they uh, do plan on staying. It seems like they've moved in. There's a lot of uh, flights going along on the front here. There we go. Okay, there's quite a few bees right there. Let me go ahead and pull out a frame from the other side here. Give them a little spritz of smoke. Okay, they are festooning on that other frame. There's nothing going on here. I do want to see the queen. That's, that's what I really want to see. I want to see what she looks like. A little bit of pollen patty for you there. Okay, we have a lot of festooning on this frame. Look at that. See if you can see a queen on there. Those bees are drawing it out. That means they're staying. They have moved in. Okay, there's no way we're going to see a queen on that frame, though. Even if she's there. All right, this is the frame she's going to be on. Okay. Do we see a queen on there? They've already dumped their resources. They've dumped their honey in here. Very heavy frame with bees don't see oh, oh yeah I do there she is right there there's the queen there she is let's give her a dot going to give her the dot she is a tiger stripe queen oh and let me tell you she has a an egg sticking right out the back okay My marker here. There we go. Okay, Queen. Walk to the middle. Walk to the middle. There we go. It's a nice racing stripe you have there. That's a nice dot. That's a nice dot. I want you to dry. We don't want them to clean it off, so I'm going to go ahead and put you in a cage. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to let you go in a minute. And there you go. Okay. Oh, she's out. She, she managed to squeeze out of there, so that's good. She's back in the hive, but she's probably going to get her, her stripe... Uh, shoot off there we go that right there we managed to accomplish all of the goals all right well there you go the end of another adventure now we did manage to accomplish all of our goals today we got through every single one of the bee barns and we did identify the hive that i think was the one that swarmed i think it was the sage bee barn everybody else was in good shape and, and had too many bees and too many resources to be the hive that had swarmed so we did mark all the queens we found with the green dot and we even took a look at the little swarm that we caught found that queen and marked her too so everything is right with the world if you enjoyed this video do me a favor give me a thumbs up if you have something to say by all means please comment and if you have not subscribed to the channel do me a favor take a moment hit the subscribe button ring that bell to be notified of my new content i do try to drop a video every friday we try to keep it light and have fun so with all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.